Hey everybody, it's Settler38 here. Finally got in my box of 2020 Archives Baseball from Tops. Oh, not from Tops explicitly, but from the place I pre-ordered it from. Shipped it pretty quickly. I didn't actually see it in my local Walmart in terms of blaster-wise here this week. They did have the uh, Tops Chrome Mega Boxes, so I'll open that at some point in the future. But that is not what we're focusing on today. So... Let's see if we can bring this on back just a bit. A better idea of what we're looking for. So, of course, two on-card autos, not sticker autos this time. There'll be a mini poster here. A whole slew of different versions of earlier Tops cards. Uh, the design elements, of course. Got like this. There'll be a mini poster inside. I was actually just looking at the odds present on this box. And we're looking at, um, I believe, 1 in 107. So not likely going to hit that. But we'll crack that open. See exactly what sort of magic we pull here. I've been watching a number of different YouTubers break into these boxes. Uh, seems to be kind of a weaker release after how great uh, Chrome went over. But... I don't know, I like when the, the Topps company goes and thinks about its past and tries to put things in a new role, kind of refreshing some of their most storied looks from the last 60 or so years. All right, so we're going to start off today. Mariano Rivera, Let's see if I can get this all in the shot here. Not signed, but we didn't think we would have a signature this time. Of course, that would be a great hit right off the bat. Now stick out these four corners of packs. Try to get those in shot as well. Lewis Roberts. Obviously, we're going to try to go with this, but Kyle Lewis, Bo Bichette, you know who we're looking for. Anyways, here is the pack of archives. And this will be one of 36 packs, I believe. This one ran me, I think, a hundred some bucks. I know people were paying a little bit more if they're buying in with breaks. I recall correctly, Jabs Family was 130 something. I think I got this, like I said, for 103, maybe 110 after tax. All right, so design element one, Tom Seaver. It's looking pretty legitimate based on the earlier designs. Uh, Tony Gwynn, so strong people off the bat. Adrian Morjan, looking like a 2000 design. First rookie. Got Yelly. Hopefully he ends up doing a little bit better this uh, year. He's been kind of weak this first uh, month of MLB games. Pete Alonzo, gold cup card. You got a Gavin Lux rookie card. And Steven, Steven, Steve Carlton to conclude things. Going back to the 50s with that design. All right, so I guess Gavin Lux base card is a good way to start things. You know, typical struggle with these sleeves. Oh man, more than a typical struggle with these sleeves. Downright not wanting to play nice. We'll put the Eloy away from 2019 archives. And we'll get into pack two. At least the eight card packs make it a little bit easier to get through all of these. Bob Gibson, Lou Brock, some Hall of Fame representation on off the back. Nick Solak. As a rookie card, we've gotten a few of his so far. Ryan McMahon, Jose Abreu, Randy Johnson, sports extra card. A little bit of information about uh, 1989 uh, when he was picked up off of the Expos roster. And George Brett on the end of that. All right, so... Solax, not bad. Pack three. 
there. A delight to look at. It's just so kind of draining to look at the same 300, 400 cards in a box if they don't have any change to this. Al Zolay, we've gotten quite a few of his rookies this year. Fred McGriff, Will Myers, Yu Chang rookie card. That's a solid hit for sure. Craig Biggio. Here we go. Got the Bowman May rookie. Number 15 in a set of 30. Shane Bieber, absolutely tearing up the pitching records this year. And Marcus Semyon to conclude things. All right. I was so happy when I pulled Bieber's rookie uh, a few weeks ago for the channel. And it's just been rocketing up. I think it's been like 200 or 300 for a PSA 10. And those numbers just keep going up as his season uh, continues to impress. I thought he'd cool off a bit after getting a few uh, starts under his belt, but that doesn't seem to be the case. All right, next pack. A weird pair of Dodgers to start things off in our highlight. Larry Walker. Gotta know Bo. Billy Williams. I can't say I'm familiar with. Played the uh, 76 on this card. Yeah, I don't remember him. Edgar Martinez. Andre Dawson, a few people I do remember. Hammer and Hank Aaron, what is this upset about? Pretty cool. Jose Barrios and Corey Seager. All right, getting to about the quarter mark in this box. Josh Hader, Josh Bell, I was going to say we had three Joshes in a row, Brandon Woodruff, Daddy Vladdy, Mauricio Dubon, I still think there's a bunch of upside to him, we got Babe Ruth and Willie Castro to end things. Chris Paddock, we have a few of his rookie de debut cards. Jason Hayward. Thor. Brad Keller. Kenley Jansen. There we go. I've been seeing quite a few of these around the dual players version. We got Shohei and Mike Trout. That's what these look like. Good side set for sure. Will Clark and Nomar. And we can. Kind of interesting that all the hits I've pulled have been the horizontal. I know we've gotten a few rookies that are vertical, but. Most times when I'm looking at horizontal cards, I'm kind of ignoring them if we're looking at like a base top set because usually they're team cards. Sammy Sosa. David Ortiz. So definitely some players from my childhood. Anthony Rendon. Chipper Jones. So three of four of those. Ralph Kiner well before my uh, time. 55 uh, was his last career year looks like. John Means. Oh, uh, a few people were very disappointed in receiving that as a signature. Bruce Dahl, or Gratterall. And Mike Musina. Musina. Okay. This feels fairly thick. Looks visually thick. Probably just... Uh, an optical illusion if we're looking at these cards here. Let's make focuses. There we go. 
Yamaguchi rookie card. Oh. Eloy right there. Walker Bueller. Oh, Bellinger. Going into Andrews. Well, that's pretty cool looking. Another sports extra card this time. It is 1990 with Roberto Almar. Harmon Killebrew. And Lou Boudreau. Someone was just selling a Boudreau autograph or relic or something on one of the Facebook groups. So it was weird. It was literally 15 minutes ago I was looking at that. Surprising, too, that it was only like 20 bucks when he is one of the Indians, along with what, Larry Doby, really set up that whole mid uh, century for him. Victor Robles. Matthew Boyd, Justin Turner, Guriel, Lillar, he's a gray, Yastrzemski out in 99, doesn't look anything different beyond just the border, but that is a cool numbered card for sure, Bregman, and Stroman. I guess we'll just do this in order and put Yaz in front of Lux. Based on the sum of the breakers, it seemed like there were similar placements for hits in a case. So you have to watch out about that if people are selling through a lot of these. Zach Collins, that if you're purchasing single packs, uh, you know exactly where they're coming from. Uh, Thurman Munson, but that's a good bit of... Um, Suggestion for anyone opening packs. We have the kid that for the PC Starling Marte Alan Trammell we have a Showtime Shohei Atani. This is the same set as the Hank Aaron. I guess it's just a nickname set Aaron Hicks and Iglesias to conclude that pack Paul Malter, another Dubon, Whitey Ford, uh, assaulted by pretzels, Frank Thomas, Big Hurt, A-Rod, first signature, Bob Wickman, okay, he looks like a 90s guy, but I don't remember him, 92 to 2007, 63 and 61, so, um, oh, well, I guess he pitched for a while. That's our first signature right there. And that's one thing I did see was that a lot of these signature hits aren't quite the most well-known of players. We end with Alonzo and Altuve. At least this was just part of this box as opposed to the archives Retired Players Edition. That's the main reason I haven't opened those for the channel. Is just that so many of those players, while they were big in their moment, really don't command a lot of attention on eBay or just in terms of value. So I kind of shied away from that. I've been shying away from breaks that utilize those too because it's like one person for 45 bucks, 60 bucks, whatever they end up getting the box for. Doesn't seem to be a really good use of cash. Justin Dunn. John Smoltz. Munoz. I've seen him quite a few times at John Means we talked about. Andrew Jones. Max Muncy and Will Smith. Oh yeah, okay. Ahmed Rosario and Pujols. Sutsugo rookie card. Justin Upton with a nameplate variation. Looks like there's no nameplate here. Let's look and make sure that's what's going on. We got. 475 for that number. Tsutsugo is 
0.475. Hmm, I'm presuming that that's important. Urquidy, rookie card this time. Willie Mays, that's pretty cool. A uh, picture of him for sure. Jorge Alfaro. Juan Soto Gold Cup card. There we go for the PC Nolan Ryan. Fantastic. And Goose Gossage to end things. All right. That was a pretty strong pack, if that is actually a variant. I know I got some... Oh, what was that? Um, Panini product, where the design was intentional, that they were missing some information. And that was how all the cards looked. Uh, Yvonne Rodriguez, Ernie Banks, Mike Schmidt this time, Miggy, you Darvish, Smoltzy, Isan Diaz, and Vlad Jr. Akayama, so Shogo card is a great hit for sure. Dustin May is also a good hit. Bob Feller, Judge, PC hit, Verlander. Light blue Strasburg. Don't see a number printed on that. There we go. Nice. That's a 16 out of 25 right there. It's interesting with these different placements for the numbers. I wonder exactly if that's just uh, the different machines, different printing places, whatever you want to call them. Place them. Some put them on the front, some put them on the back. There we go. We end that pack with uh, Brian Reynolds and JT Realmuto. Soroka, Scherzer, Blake Snell. Other Strasburg, same thing, but the gold version. Machado, Chris Sale, third of these collection. Ralph Kiner and Ricky Henderson. Piscotti, Roddy Telez, Ryan Howard. Carlton Fisk, Barry Larkin, definitely a player from my childhood. Here's, here's our second signature. Is it gonna? There we go. Shane Spencer. Okay. I, know I said this both times. 98 to 04. So this was after I stopped watching a baseball in the slightest. Ended up having a 262 career average. All right, Charlie Morton and Trevor Bauer. We at the three-fourths way mark here in just a second after we complete this pack. All right. Brandon Crawford, Carlos Correa, Braun, Devers, Cueto. Here we go. Boba Shett and Vlad Jr. Tim Anderson and Paul DeYoung. Hmm. All right, we'll put these in the middle so I don't have to stretch. I know you all love my carry arm, but I try to keep myself out of these videos as much as possible. Roberto Almar, Sandy Koufax, 
A Rose Arena rookie. Conforto. The Eck, which has a very awesome, like, 70s yacht rock voice. I listened to him on the uh, Red Sox stream of one of these uh, games a while back. Tatis Jr. Cup card. And he had a fantastic voice. Lindor and Otani. A good base pack. It's pretty cool. Reddit has a very uh, subreddit that you can actually watch a number of games on. We'll provide the links. That's good if they don't have, um, if you don't have a cable or anything like that. Clemente. Trent Grisham apparently is amazing right now. As I recorded this, had a big game last night. I guess everybody's buying up his rookie cards. Changed his name legally, or at least in the MLB, so you can find it a little bit cheaper. Some of these baseball card sellers don't know what his real name is. Couldn't tell me. <laughs> that a few of them aren't changing their prices right now, but at least for the night. I'm guessing a lot of people are going to wake up with some sales of cards that are comically underpriced. There we go. Rod Crew, Clemens, Ryan Sandberg, Luis Aparicio, and Robin Yount. Down to our last four packs. Gonzalez, Kettle Marte, Brendan McKay, rookie card. I've been working his PC a little bit. I think there's going to be a lot of upside to him. Freddie Freeman, Joe Morgan. There we go. Going back to was that the KB, Kmart, I forget. Nico Horner, rookie card. Followed up by an AJ Puck, rookie card. And then Brock Burke. I can't say I'm familiar with him. I'll leave this up just to get this ending a little bit sooner. Rather than trying to struggle with sleeving it yet again. Hosmer, Dozier, Lester, Rugi, Aaron Nola, Thor, so another one of those side sets, Charlie Blackman, and Keston Hira, a pair of personal collection people. Pen ultimate pack here, then we'll get done. Actually gonna make it before 30 minutes this time. I didn't think I would. Mayhew's been doing pretty awesome lately. Toro uh, definitely working pretty well. Bryce Harper, Kyle Seeger, Acuna. It's Logan Allen. Yeah. Will Smith, who I was confused about before, and Jackie Robinson. Final pack. DeGrom, Duke Snyder, Cole Calhoun, Keyboom, Anthony Kay, Reese Hoskins and Bryce Harper, Laureano, and Sam Hilliard rookie card. So, good batch of cards this time. Of course, we get to hit the Horner, got the No Nameplate, Justin Upton, got the Yaz out of 75. Gavin Lux rookie card, Trent Grisham rookie card, Trout and Otani dual card, Strasburg to 25, a few Dustin Mays, and our two signatures at this time were Wickman and Spencer. So Definitely more value in those rookie cards. Anyways, this was Settler 38. This was our 2020 Talks, Tops Archives Baseball Hobby Box. I'm going to have to dig through these cards and see if there are any short prints or anything else I missed. Have a fantastic rest of your day.